The very concepts of life and death seem to be the most invariable forces of the universe. One day we all die and you can't do anything about it. You can't control it. Or can you? This is where people like these two come in. One reviving people from death, the other instantly causing it in others. With god complexes and zero interest in women, these two plan their ways around foes with their genius tactical abilities. Herbert West, the reanimator. And Light Yagami, the god of the new world. For this match, in the interest of having more fun, we're giving them feats from other media, such as comics or stage musicals. However, the source material will take precedence, and anything contradicting that will be exempt. This is also primarily the film version of Herbert West, not the literary version, as they're from different time periods, among other discrepancies. Also, don't expect Light to scale to Goku or something, as it goes more into game mechanic logic than anything. But anything they actually do in a story-based context goes. He's Ducko, and I'm Max. Let's change the world with our creation! Okay, maybe not. I doubt this versus video will change anything about society. But it should be fun! Death. To some, it's a very painful thing to accept. But to others, they don't accept it at all. Imagine if you could find a way to stop death altogether, using simple medical science. You could live lifetimes. These were the aspirations and goals of Herbert West. Little is known of the past of Dr. Herbert West, but what we do know is that he is an expert in this field, creating his own reagent to inject into dead bodies and revive them. He was moving from school to school in his studies before this. Eventually, he came to a school where he met a fellow man named Dan, Dan was a reluctant scientist partner for Herbert, who was gradually coaxed into helping Herbert further in his discoveries. At the same time though, Dr. Carl Hill attempted to steal Herbert's discoveries for himself. So Herbert cut his head off and brought his head back to life. Just to see what happens, I guess. After meeting Dan, he was able to further develop his reagent. Although there was still a slight hiccup, the bodies they would bring back were... not all there. Instead, when the bodies came back from the dead, there were rampaging monsters with barely any humanity left in them. As the experiments went on, Herbert was able to start gaining their humanity back, and eventually went on to create life from a bunch of body parts. Eventually, Dan would turn on Herbert West for manipulating him throughout all of this, and he helped to get Herbert locked up in prison. But that didn't stop him from continuing on with his experiments and eventually escaping through a prison riot. Since then, Herbert West has gone on a long journey in life, eventually figuring out how to bring back both the mind and the body more fully with his reagent. He was even tasked to revive the president. We don't get to see it, but this was mentioned again later in a comic. According to Herbert West himself, his own strength often gets underestimated by people, as he's apparently gained some strength due to his years of digging up graves. Alright, sure. Herbert can cut a man's head off with a shovel, and chop through arms with a machete as if they were made of butter. He also has fairly decent throwing and lifting feats, like smacking a rabbit cat off of himself, tossing the top half of a revived corpse away, and dragging Dan away from a tent. He even caved in a brick wall by kicking it, though it was already weakened. Then there was this big guy, Crocius Rex, that he hacked up with an axe. Herbert is quick, too, able to often dodge bullet fire, even when it's raining down upon him and others aren't so lucky during this time. He also dodged a shotgun blast that was aimed at his crotch, and has dodged several shovel swings from a very angry man. So yeah, Herbert can dish out the pain and even avoid it, but can he take it? Commonly, Herbert has been tossed around by superhumanly strong foes and immediately gotten back up from it, including Ash Williams from the Evil Dead series. But even without that crossover, there are at least two instances where Herbert survived buildings being destroyed with himself inside of them. A building exploded due to a German shell, and he survived it while an experiment of his did not. And he even survived the destruction of a whole entire hospital. Speaking further into those comics, it strangely gives us some insight into why, when Herbert West seemingly dies at the end of the first two movies, he's able to come back. Apparently, during his adventures he was once lured away by demons, who seduced him with promises of power, but this resulted in his blood being mixed with a foul magic. This magic somehow restores Herbert West from death, and it's apparently happened twice already. So, no matter what strides in reanimation he takes, he'll never truly know the glory of science beating death. Herbert also developed something off with his limbs and eyes, 
namely being able to remove, stretch out, and detach them. He can even send them out as separate, somewhat living beings, regenerate his body, and see out of separate eyes, like Mrs. Potato Head. If he attaches his head to a headless body, he'll even be able to take it over, now using his mind with said body. Herbert West is extraordinarily intelligent. Oh, I have a plan. And is generally good at manipulating people like Dan for his own benefit. Even when Dan wanted to quit with West's experiments, he was able to keep Dan on board by exploiting his love for Meg. He also was able to manipulate Susan and the two rival gangs into helping him out inadvertently. He's used disguises and aliases in order to escape prisons, and he once stole a dead body from a hospital by dressing it up with sunglasses. Although that last one seems more like a cartoon gag. He also sneaks himself into a hospital by pretending to be a corpse. You ain't got my lunch under there, have you? Yeah, one meatball run over by a semi. Ugh. Meatball? Obviously, Herbert is an expert chemist, having made the reagent in the first place. He is a skilled detective in some respects, being able to deduce how a body was killed and who did it, just by looking at its condition. Your wife died of multiple contusions to the head. No. From a blunt instrument. <laughs> multiple blows she to the head. Ha! She fell, did she? Personally, Herbert can be cold towards others though he can lighten up around those he respects and cares about, such as Dan. He has ultimately good intentions in making his discoveries, but ends up causing a lot of destruction in his scientific process. Herbert West's reagent, despite its main purpose being to maintain and resurrect life, can be used to end it just as well. In its imperfected state, it brings dead bodies back as rampaging monsters, but they would attack Herbert as well as they would attack any other opponents, so there's no help there. But, if there's no body nearby, the reagent can be injected into his opponent with an overdose, which will chemically rip apart the victim's insides until they come bursting out. It could also just be used in moderation for keeping Herbert awake when he's tired, or it can cause victims to spaz out and laugh uncontrollably for a while, making it difficult to move before wearing off. The reagent was later stabilized and perfected to where it could basically bring a person back to normal, or at least retaining their entire personality such as when Dr. Carl Hill was resurrected as just a head. In smaller doses, it seems to grant some extra strength, durability, and general physicality, though it can be inconsistent, as it worked differently with alien physiology in one story, but didn't work as well for Herbert himself. The reagent can also be addicting, acting much like a drug. For that alien, she became so strong that she was able to effortlessly defeat Vampirella, and became so powerful that she was beyond death and was basically unstoppable. Again, this is just for aliens, so Herbert West gets no help here. Dr. West later developed alternate forms of the reagent, which have their own specialties and upgrades. There's the supposed enhanced reagent, which instead of zombies will turn people into deadites. That's just making it worse. While zombies are basically just strong dead guys, deadites are known to teleport, fly, and possess others. But again, they aren't exactly on Herbert's side either. The regeneration reagent not only revives the body, but also heals it of any injuries, reverting it to its original form. I wonder if you left someone in there for too long, would they turn into a baby? Anyways, there's super reagent as well, which is infused with magic and alchemy, and, if injected into a specific gateway, can create a portal to another world. It's not reviving a dead body. What does that have to do with anything? Herbert, get back to work. Herbert also sometimes uses nanoplasm to help recovering bodies regain their consciousness. He can gain nanoplasm by stabbing a victim, containing their nanoplasm life energy, then transferring their conscious into a new body, including even putting a human's consciousness into a rat. As for more normal weapons, he's got a hacksaw that it can use to cut into enemies, he's got a shovel that can be used to bludgeon people or decapitate them, and he has a pistol for shooting people. Herbert has even noted before that he has pretty good aim with a gun, generally able to meet his targets. It's good for him that he also has a shotgun nearby if he needs it. A specific form of chloroform that Herbert has developed can induce heart attacks in a foe when he uses it. Herbert also has a specific medicine that he can blow into another person's face, at which point he becomes essentially able to mind control them, only allowing them to act or even move under his command. There's also a machete. It cuts and stabs. However, Herbert West still finds himself flawed in many ways. First, obviously, being his massive ego. Herbert thinks very highly of himself, to the point that he even considered himself to be a god when he created life from body parts. Despite believing himself to be a god, he is still human, and can be knocked out. 
Plus, his reanimated bodies don't even obey him, so the only thing they can do is cause further chaos. Herbert has dealt with a lot of hiccups in his scientific method, but he is still brilliant, mastering his fields of study to the point where he did indeed succeed in fully reversing the effects of death. While you may question his mentality, one can never say he was not truly driven towards his goals. Blasphemy! Blasphemy? Before what god? A god repulsed by the miserable humanity he created in his own image? I will not be shackled by the failures of your god. The only blasphemy is to wallow in insignificance. I have taken refuse of your god's failures, and I have triumphed. There, there is my creation. There are those among us who seem like your average person, not really seeming to stand out in a good or bad way. You would think when you initially encountered this guy in your day-to-day -day life, Light Yagami would just be a regular student. Maybe a skilled one if you knew him a bit better, but you would have to know him a lot to truly know what he was capable of. Light Yagami had always believed the world would make a better place without criminals making it awful for everyone else, and considered his world to be rotten. Around the same time as this, the Shinigami known as Ryuk was having a similar problem, living in his own rotten world. So, to ease his own boredom, Ryuk dropped what was called a Death Note onto the human world, where it was quickly found by Light. The Death Note is a book where you can write a person's name down in it, and force them to die. If you don't write a specific method of death, they will just have a heart attack. And, as a limitation, if you don't actually have a face or name in mind, well, you won't be able to actually do it. You'll need the first and last name as well. No half-assing it. Unless, unless you're Light Turner from the Netflix movie, who just needed to write Watery. Great fucking movie. I love that. <laughs> okay, so when Light figured out that this Death Note worked, he immediately set out to clean the world of all crime and become the god of the new world where everyone would be happy. But others didn't quite see it that way. This was more like mass murder, so the governments of the world called up the detective known as L to solve this case. L was relentless in his quest to find out who the mysterious Kira was that was causing all the murders, and through extensive reasoning and trapping, he eventually would have let down to Light as the last suspect. Light did manage to get some help from a Kira worshipper known as Misa, who also had a death note, but the walls were closing in. In order to keep suspicions off, Light joined the investigation team with L, and the two were working side by side for a while. Eventually, L cornered Light so hard that his only option was to pull off a very complicated plan with the Death Note. Light played musical chairs with his and Misa's Death Notes and... Well, the short of it was Light lost his memories of the Death Note for a bit, convinced L that he couldn't be Kira for a bit, L gave Light a sensual foot rub and showered with him in the live-action TV series, and ultimately, Light got Rem, Misa Shinigami, to kill L. Exactly as planned. Eventually, though, despite his victory over L, Light met his fate at the hands of Nier, who exposed him to the police, which ultimately resulted in Light's death. Light never got to make his perfect world, but at least he eased Ryuk's boredom for a while. But in life, Light was no pushover. Besides his criminal brilliance, he was also a skilled tennis player. He was even able to play tennis at an expert level while thinking incredibly complex and distracting things. Is he going to think that I'm Kira if I go for the win? I suppose I could just lose on purpose, but if I do, it could work against me. Since he'd expect Kira to want to win, he might also expect me to throw the match to avoid suspicion. <sighs> he did well against L, though maybe he didn't take it too well, as he later sent him flying with a punch. Maybe late punching him wasn't related to tennis, but oh well. Speaking of his fight with L, he was basically unmoved when L kicked him right in the head, and later was completely unmoved when he was kicked in the face. Light was even unmoved when Misa was passionately punching him multiple times in a comedic fashion. Light pretty much shrugs off getting shot multiple times, running around right afterwards. He seemingly would have survived the gunshots fully if Ryuk hadn't written his name down afterwards. But physical fights aren't as big to Light as mind games are. Even before the events of the show, Light was a top student, ranking number one nationwide. Light is pretty much known for his perfect planning throughout Death Note. Light was able to keep suspicions off of himself for a while, even staging a hijacking to make an FBI member trust him. He was able to manipulate Naomi Misora into giving up her name, even when she was very close to unintentionally exposing Light. 
If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep checking your watch? Oh, well... I guess it's because... Because I'm Kira. And he generally has the foresight to set up deaths weeks in advance in case he ever gets injured and can't write for a while. Light was also able to detect and avoid being captured by cameras, but still kill people, due to clever usage of a bag of potato chips. Light was skilled enough even before he got the death note to help several detectives in their cases. And even top genius Detective L noted Light's intelligence, with their battle of wits being the crux of a lot of the series. And even after being mind wiped of being Kira, he worked with L to find out who the new one was, showing skills to the point where L considered him a detective on his own level, even being a potential replacement for him in case he died. Plus, he also kept his secret from Goku and the rest of the Jump Force cast! That was all he did in Jump Force. It would have been much better if he was a main villain instead, but this is all we got. Light can show different emotions than how he truly feels to catch people off guard, such as seeming calm and collected when he is actually enraged. In general, he can switch between seeming innocent and normal or going into the dark, mysterious Kira persona whenever he needs to, such as when an FBI agent was looking away, being able to hold him hostage without the agent even seeing him. Even under a lot of pressure, like when L revealed himself to Light, he was able to maintain a calm face, not letting L see that he got a reaction out of him. On the off chance that he really is L, I have to act how Soichiro Yagami's son Light Yagami would act in this situation. There'd be no reason for him to be afraid. Light can also sing well, able to sing all about his emotions in the musical. You know, Herbert West had a musical as well, so maybe this match ends with them singing a duet together. We mentioned it before, but what is the full extent of the titular Death Note? To give more info, it was a book originally owned by Ryuk, a Shinigami who got bored and decided to see what would happen if a human got one. Basically, you write a full name and specify how the person dies, then it happens. No specification, then it's just a heart attack. Any kind of death needed, like a suicide or a truck running them over, can be specified, though you have to conform to reality at the time as he can't force someone from Japan at 5.30 to be in France at 6 o'clock, for instance. Anyone holding even a piece of paper from the book will be able to see Ryuk, and this has been used before to scare victims. There is a set of rules in the book written by Ryuk that must be abided by. If a name is spelled wrong, it doesn't work, and if an alias is written, it won't work either. Also, weirdly enough, it never seems to run out of pages. White also keeps a piece of the Death Note in his watch, which he can open with a secret compartment. After that, he can prick his finger and write in it with his own blood. Oh yeah, Ryuk also follows Light around wherever he goes, because he's tied to the Death Note itself. Ryuk does not want to help Light directly, just watching whatever he does with the book. But Light has manipulated him before by promising apples. Ryuk won't kill because of that, he'll just help Light deal with a few tasks, such as figuring out where cameras were hidden. Ryuk is invisible to anyone who isn't holding the Death Note. He can fly and face through objects like a ghost, and he can make the Shinigami eye deal with Light, which entails Light splitting his own lifespan in half. But, if he does do this, he won't be able to see anyone's name just by looking at their face, which is very helpful when you've got a Death Note. Oh, and I guess in the Netflix movie, Ryuk has some weird telekinesis that lets him destroy his Ferris wheel? But don't get confused, we aren't going to follow any of the rules of that movie since it just blatantly contradicts the original. But I suppose this Ryuk feat is still something he might be able to do. Ryuk can also sing in the musical, and he can dance. He's my favorite character in the show. I really can't count on you, can I? You got that right. Ryuk cannot be killed unless he saves light. So if he does that, he'll die. So Ryuk will never do that. If he dies, he is dead. And Ryuk eventually did kill Light at the end of the series. Now that we're back to Light's death at the end of the series, it's time we finally got down to the list of weaknesses he has. Much like his opponent, his god complex has made him pretty arrogant and cocky, sometimes even taking big risks and finding it hard to hold back his laughter when he thinks he's won. Light has also been outwitted by investigators like El and Nier, and if Light gets backed into a corner, he'll be too unhinged to function, which is dangerous because he was unhinged already. Still, with his cunning mind and a god of death on his side, Light Yagami truly did have what it took to change the world. Even though his mission ultimately failed, Light Yagami left a mark on the world that nobody could ever forget.
That's right. I am Kira. Who will be the victor of this life or death bout? Will Herbert move his dead bones to snuff out the light and take him down to their former ranks? Or will Herbert West feel the power of the hurricane? That's one for all you Death Note musical fans out there. Lied. What are we doing here? You need a checkup or something? I told you before. Something weird has been going on around here. There are several criminals I recently had killed in this hospital, but they're not dead yet. That is weird. I've never seen the Death Note fail to kill another human before. I'm kind of curious to see what this is all about. I need to dial back on the amounts of reagent I use. I'll keep a note of it. This is a private room. Will you please leave now? That's one of the criminals. What happened to him? <laughs> that is interesting. You really did kill that guy, but it looks like his body's moving all the same. Wonder if that guy has anything to do with it. Who are you? I know you're still in here. I came here to investigate the murders of several known criminals who were moved to this hospital after suffering fatal heart attacks. There were no fatalities. All of those criminals are alive and well, minus the one laying before you. But I killed them. How could there be no fatalities here? How did he know about those criminals' deaths? It was all fairly under wraps. Unless he's... The Reanimator. These men all have name tags, so maybe... Witness my triumph. The fruits of my labor have not gone unrewarded. I just need his name. What was it? I was given many aliases. Henry Antrobus. Crawford Tillinghast. Harry Radich. Herbert West. Charles Zaz. Just have to narrow it down. It's not that. Need a distraction. Huh? You're gonna throw spitballs at him now? Honestly, like. Who are you? What ghastly phantom is this? Oh, I get it. That was a piece of the Death Note, wasn't it? <laughs> nice idea. How's it going? See ya. <laughs> Enough! I gave him life. Do you think you have the right to take it away? Is that what you call life? From the terrified look in his eyes, I can tell he disagrees. I followed your work, Kira, and you're quite sloppy. I'm sure you imagine you'll create a new world by killing all these people. Such delusions of grandeur. I have the powers that only a god can have. Only I can create a new world where everyone can live in peace. I can control when and where a person will die. And I can bring them back! You are a pathetic excuse for a god. Any man can kill, but I can create life itself. 
Your powers are simply outdated. Thanks for the talk. But while you were busy running your mouth, I eliminated all of those other options. There's only one name left you could go by. <laughs> you know, this would have been more fun if you weren't so stupid. <laughs> What's wrong? No comeback this time. Nothing witty to say? If that's all you've got, then so long, Herbert West. Nice try, but I'm a lot stronger than I look, you know. Many years ago, my blood was cursed by a foul magic. As much as it pains me, I will never know the true success of my own reagent. But, as a bonus, you cannot kill me! Bastard! What the hell do you think you're doing? Ryuk! Ryuk, where are you? Kill him! Nah, I don't think I will. Much pain awaits you. <laughs> I gotta be honest, Light. I was really expecting to see you get out of this one. I could barely read that other guy's lifespan with all those times he died, so I didn't even know what was going to happen. But oh well, humans really are so... interesting. Huh? No takers? Guess I'll take the book back to the Shinigami realm. Ultimately, Herbert has proven once again that he can take life away as well as bring it back. Both Herbert West and Light Yagami were very intelligent, despite the fact that neither put much focus into being physically impressive. But, even though they didn't really focus on that aspect of Herbert West, he definitely had Light beat physically. Even with just the movies, Herbert can effortlessly cut through human bodies, showing greater strength than Light. And in the comics, he can survive buildings being destroyed with him inside, which is much more than Light has displayed. But there's even more if you want to go further into their other media. When it comes to scaling Herbert to Ash, it's way more viable than scaling Light to Goku, which just randomly happens in some weird game. Whereas Herbert fighting with Ash was part of the actual story being told, and gets backed up later when Herbert meets Cassie Hack. With that said, Ash Williams is building level on his own, and he even scales to Jason Voorhees, who has his own feat of surviving a building blowing up of him inside. With Herbert West at building level, there really wasn't anything Light could do to hurt him. Another problem for Light is that even if he manages to succeed in giving Herbert a heart attack, Herbert West has magically enchanted blood that allows him to be resurrected upon death, meaning that Light will have to try several times over to kill him. This is assuming Light even gets a hold of Herbert's name, considering he has used aliases in the past, and is generally protective of his life. Even if Light had the name right, he'd need to write it down before Herbert just up and kills him with any of his weapons, which is unlikely given Herbert's speed advantage. With an actual gun at his side, it's very possible Herbert will just shoot Light, which previously interrupted him from writing down Nier's name during his final hours. Light would have the edge in terms of intelligence, just about, being more of an expert when it comes to analyzing people and his surroundings. But Herbert is no slouch either, as seen when he figured out several murders through minimal evidence. Really, Light didn't have many methods of legitimately killing Herbert West. Even if we restricted Herbert down to just his movies, he still got a gun, far greater strength, and would be able to kill Light before he could just write his name down. Maybe Light just isn't fit for a more normal versus show like this, sinking on it. Sorry, Light. Herbert West was just much stronger, had counters to the Death Note with his very own blood, and had a far more reliable and dangerous arsenal. Making this multiverse match his winner, Herbert West. Mm -hmm.